you hedged there. <laughs> Away we go from College Station. And as you'd expect, it's a touchback. Aggies bring pressure again. Nussmeyer slings it sidearm incomplete. It was just behind Mason Taylor and a quick three and out for LSU. Uh, they have to do to disrupt this offense. Aggies run it for 219 a game. It's the backbone of what they do. And a second and long run off the left side. You see why. Yards after now. Bigman looking to throw in first down. Here comes the pressure on the blind side and he'll be sacked. Getting there quickly. Swinson and then Greg Penn, the linebacker. The backers have got to be ready for tonight. Picked up six with a pass. Now handed to Durham, who bolts through a first down and a tackle. Saved an even bigger game. Scooby Williams got him by the ankle. Durham with the speed to house it from anywhere on the field. Nussmeyer pressure. Flips it down to Durham again. Makes a man miss. Gets into space. Look out. Caden Durham down the sidelines. Mention his speed. He flashes it. And LSU with a monster play is set up. Dalton Brooks missed the tackle. And it's a 40-yard pickup. I'm telling you, the backer comes. Now it's just, again, a check down. So it's just talked about how dangerous he is. And you see the stiff arm that he gives to Dalton Brooks. And now there's no one left. Running left, bursting into the secondary, Josh Williams banging down to the five. So LSU marches you from there, seven. Yeah, 24 sacks coming in, they've taken the ball away 11 times. Four-man rush, Redmond still feels pressure, dumps it down, catch made by Moss out of the backfield, lost the ball, the scramble for it. And LSU right on cue comes up with the 12th takeaway of the season. A flag is yep. down at the end of the play. Kyron Lacey motions across. They've got single coverage on the left. Nussmeyer steps up and delivers the downfield shot. And the catch is made. Mason Taylor. The rule really incompleted. Yeah, came on long enough. Had his hands on it. Going to throw for it. Slant, caught, Green, knocked down at the one. Big 6-7 freshman tight end sets him up first and goal. A very, very hesitant outside receiver. Just kind of slow off the ball. Again, man-to-man, -man, which means you got to be able to separate. And they're going to throw it to the end zone. Looping catch, Mason Taylor, LSU. Gets the short field and stretches the lead here in Kyle Field. And here's Taylor who just dropped the ball. He was not, look at that, almost got through his hands. He was not letting that one get by. So, by the way, you see how he turned his body. I love this. They show an unusual formation. Defense is communicating, trying to get on the same page. And then after all that, play action on first and ten for an unusual. Then be able to get back to their bread and butter in the run game. Two back look and running free. Big game. Moss trying to atone for the fumble. Rumbles out to midfield. Okay. Here we go again. Third and long. Need eight to keep this drive going. They're going to try to run for it. But Daniels and Amari Daniels picks up the first down easily, rolling inside the 40. Got 11 yards on third. Like Baker. Getting their attention, makes an adjustment. You bring pressure, Eggman steps up, delivers. Barber's got it, he's got speed. Stiff arm, shoved out first, and goal. Moss, darts free, touchdown, Texas A&M. Well, Moss has fumbled, set up the Tigers' touchdown, but he redeemed himself on that drive. Playing third and 15. Three-man rush, Nussmeyer on the move, throws downfield, and coming back to make the catch is Kyron Lacey, who just worked his way back, kept his eyes on the quarterback. That's six guys up tight. Here comes the pressure. Nussmeyer steps up, delivers a long throw, catch made. It's Lacey again. Lacey is free, and a first down inside the Aggie 30. Trying to extend the lead to six here. Drives it, and hooked it. Missed it. So LSU. 
Moss has been the feature back so far, but it's Amari Daniels in on pitch, and he's knocked down, picked up about six, but almost played when the Bulldogs were trying to rally. Wegman backs up, escapes pressure for now, still alive. Connor Wegman weaving. It was a pretty adventurous four-yard gain. Swinson was menacing him from the start. Absolutely. Here's a take a look at it right here. He knows he's going into traffic. 25 Brooks who missed a tackle earlier tonight in a play that that cost him when when Durham had the ball. And here's the look at it right here. Watch him. He's got his eyes. He's trying to feel this, but he's late in getting down. So that's why the space was created. And once that space is created, a guy like Anderson's going to make you pay for it. He's got the speed to take it all the way. So Nussmeyer back to work. Slings it on first down. Chris Hilton has a cushion. All that speed, they respect it. And he makes his catch as he tries to work the O's. Yeah, yeah, they tag it. Smart thing to do. Looking to throw again on first down. Pump fake and now a looping throw down field. Lacey's got it. Makes a man miss. Tyron Lacey skips out of bounds with the 32. And this passing game really... Damian Ramos back out there trying for a career long. This is... Just short of 50 yards. He's one of two tonight. Drives it. Missed it wide right this time. That's right at the fringe of what he's... Across the middle. Catch made. Aaron Anderson, who had that electric play earlier. They still have a hard time getting him down as he spins across the 30. They've cooled off in that department lately. Four of ten. Nussmeyer back pedaling. Running out of time. Spinning away. And nobody open. Now he flips it up into traffic and makes a mistake. Tried to force the play, and it's intercepted. B.J. Mays rumbling down inside the 10. That's the takeaway LSU was dreading. Interception by Texas A&M. And this time it's A&M. Stop warning. Good Texas job again outside, not letting him have just being comfortable and there it is just trying to make a play puts it up into the air to Anderson and I think B.J. Mays baited him into that throw that's why Kelly was wary keep your focus all of a sudden one bad play trying to convert on third down the Aggies are set up at the eight yard line on his he's got great mobility and ability to create plays well off schedule He's got Le'Veon Moss to his left. You'd figure they would feed him down here. They do. Mott, oh, keeper. He pulled it and scores. One play touchdown drive of the Aggies. Clay momentum and cut into this lead. Happened in a hurry. Feel that. He collapses down. I'm going to pull that. And this is lightning. I mean, he is quick. How about the blocks out there on the perimeter to get him into the end zone? Nice job of staying on that, that that ride there, really getting a feel for 35 Jones, get him to commit down. Feel that. He collapses down. I'm going to pull that. And this is lightning. I mean, he is quick. How about the blocks out there on the perimeter to get him into the end zone? Nice job of staying on that, that, that ride there, really getting a feel for 35 Jones, get him to commit down. Field again. Williams is the bat. Aggies. Don't blitz this time. Nussmeyer has time and flips it low. And the catch is made by Kyron Lacey. And again, he makes a catch on a third and long to move the sticks. Got Normally reliable has missed two of three from long range. This one is also from 45 plus and they missed fire. The snap came and the holder wasn't ready for it. Peyton Todd, the punter, is the holder, and the field goal operation is totally screwed up. Underestimate the crowd. Snappers not even look, or the, the holders not looking. The kicker was looking up at the uprights. Confusion. Ball's coming. He better be ready. It's about to hit him in the head. Boom, on the shoulder. He had no idea. How about that casual reaction? That's a free ball. Defending, defending Marcel Reed, it's more about the edges, being respectful of the edges. Handoff. Moss is free. Moss barrels down inside the LSU 40 and flexes. Other options for him, whether it's his jet sweep or the interior run. Keeper again. He's off and running. Dragged down inside the 15. Marcel Reed. Daniels is the back to his right. Three receivers off to the left. 
And Reed looking to throw. Nope, not for long. Takes off running and will spin down near the goal line. And they will shove him into the end zone for a touchdown. Marcel Reed has ignited this offense. And the Nussmeyer rediscovered the rhythm. He's been on a cold streak. And he almost throws it right, right to the B.J. Mays. Mays makes an interception. A second disastrous play. Another takeaway. And the Aggies are set up inside the 30. And the man look. You're able to throw it to the outside because you think he's going to stay to the inside with the inside receiver. But give Mays a look at Mays right there. He's on that man, then he drops off of him and falls out into the flat. That's a great job by Mike Elko's. Moss has it running right, barreling into the end zone. Texas A&M Avalanche continues, but a flag is down, so hold on. Personal foul, illegal blindside block, okay. offense, number nine. 15-yard penalty, still first down. It's today Walker, and it will negate the touchdown. Player. Okay, so what's the next step? So now we have to look to see if it's contact to the head-neck area. Is there an indicator? I mean, it, I don't know what else he hit besides above the head and the neck. I mean, look at his head. It went backwards. I see an upward thrust. See the saltiness pregame. It just escalated as this game was going on. Replay has confirmed targeting. Number nine, offense. Number nine is disqualified from the game. Stays back this time. Around the right end. Daniels! Barrels down near the goal line. He's inside the five. It'll be third and goal in this football game. Lining up with some tempo here. Keeper! Touchdown! Marcel Reed! The magic continues and the Aggies stretch the lead. On 35, Savion Jones right here. Watch him slow-mo it and he can right there he pulls it out at the last second and then he walks to the end zone again he's got time to make adjustments the play clock ticking now down to three pulls it on the move evades pressure fires over the middle and the catch is made by chris hilton and the speedster lost the ball late middle of that a and defense where he had success in the first half. Massive confusion. Aggies, that dude trying to run off the field. Ball heaved down, and it is caught down inside the five by Aaron Anderson. A&M was discombobulated totally. Rolling on second and goal, looking to the end zone. Catch made, and it's green for a touchdown. Trey Des Green, the six foot seven freshman tight end. Knee down, down right. Left, left knee, where's the football when it touches? Mm, it's Up, see there. It's pretty close. Uh, Mr. Video review: the runner's left knee was down, and the ball was just outside the goal line. Yeah. It'll be third down, and the ball plays just outside the goal line. Just outside, so that's yeah. pretty close. That's yeah. Teen How. Uh, but he called zero. Let's see the same play. Look how close this is. That's a great look right there. There's the snap. There's the shove. He's in. Where's the call? Not yet. Not yet. Touchdown. He did get in. That mass of humanity picking up just a couple of inches there. He's off to the right. Taylor's to the left side. Thomas comes across in motion. Nussmeyer pressured and just floats it up way over the head of everybody. Packers to take Marcel Reed off that edge run game. He'll launch downfield, has a man open, tries to fit it in. Noah Thomas has got it, and he's planted to the 21, but Reed makes an electric play through the air. Wow. Well, he split the safeties. I think it's a bust in coverage. He was free the entire time he ran down. Gilbert's trying to catch up. Zai Alexander trying to get over there. Handoff. Moss muscles in four for four with Reed at the helm. They took it 75 yards in a minute 48. And playmakers for Nussmeyer to try to use here. See if Elko is aggressive. Now they rush four and they still get him. 
They close the pocket down. Nick Scorton, his first sack tonight. By the way, no slide. He's lowered the shoulder into Torian York. Now flips it into coverage. It's picked off again. York drifting back in a third interception for Nussmeyer. That might doom LSU's comeback chances. To pick him off. York is such an energy player. He has really cut loose and played great football the last few games. They use a lot of the play clock and Pete Daniels, Amari Daniels in the secondary. Daniels shoved out at the one. And this Aggie offense smelling blood and trying to deliver the dagger right here. Just cannot say enough about this left guard, a freshman, and the job that he's done, TJ Shanahan. Look at that nice block there. Able to kind of create that wall to let Daniels get outside. And then Marcel Reed led offense out of the end zone for the first time. But it still points on all five drives that he's engineered since that takeaway. How much time have they wasted here? 20 seconds? 25? 30 seconds? Nussmeyer can't take a sack, but does. They knock him to the ground. a and defense makes a big play. Don't mean to. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> here they come. Nussmeyer on the run, flings it into the ground, and that's it. He took a shot after the play, getting up very slowly. This offensive line, so good at protecting him. He was under duress a lot tonight. Only got sacked twice, but he got pressured a bunch. And they brought pressure off the edges here. He said, are they going to dial it up? And they do. So much for being conservative. Fourth and 15. Let's sit back and play prevent. Keep it in front. Nope. Let's dial it up. Get after him. A little shove at the end.